Hi, hello. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation. My name is Johan Nyman, uh, and I uh, represent the network uh, Intact Norden of the Nordic Associations uh, uh, of uh, Intact Engagement in the Nordic countries. And I will give a um, short summary of the situation in the Nordic countries. Uh, so the main thing right now, I would say, is Denmark. And as many of you might have heard earlier today, live, uh, when Lena Ny, who's from Intact Denmark, was telling um, later this month, uh, at 18th of May, as it is uh, said as of now, uh, the Danish Citizens Initiative will be uh, up for the second reading in the, par in the Danish parliament. Um, I am from Finland and in Finland we have also had quite some activity. Um, in November, the same month as Den the, the Danish parliament had its first reading uh, for the citizens initiative, in November, also in the Finnish Parliament, uh, the uh, Finnish Citizen uh, Initiative from 2018 was up. Just like Denmark, we also in Finland had a Citizens Initiative uh, being um, uh, activated in 2018. However, it did not concern all children, it uh, concerned uh, girls. Uh, in September 2019, it came uh, to the parliament and it was being passed on to the law committee of the Finnish parliament who handled it for a year. Um, the Finnish law committee heard a lot of uh, experts. Uh, Brian, the, bio, the bioethicist uh, Brian Earp, uh, attached to uh, Yale and also Oxford University. Uh, he uh, approached uh, himself uh, through intermediaries uh, to um, the law committee and put his services for their uh, disposal. Uh, it was discussed in the law committee. Uh, they finally decided not to take on him as an expert uh, during uh, the process which lasted a year in the committee. In the final uh, paper of the law committee, however, boys were mentioned uh, in quite a long paragraph. There were some interesting uh, moments uh, there because a suggestion was being posed uh, in the last minute to erase every mention of boys from the report of the law committee. Um, this did not happen, but in uh, the second hearing in the parliament, there was a votation uh, first putting uh, that um, uh, suggestion as one alternative, putting another alternative uh, saying that boys and girls should be equally uh, mentioned both in the text chapter and in the decision part. That I think would have been a sustainable solution for the Finnish parliament to vote through. However, 109 parliamentarians voted for the complete erasure for every mention on, of boys uh, in favor of uh, a report and a proposition that would have put girls and boys uh, on the same level. Uh, so, so that is noteworthy. This has not been covered in, in Finnish media. However, in the second votation, um, the original suggestion from the law committee was 
uh, maintained. That is, the proposition does mention both boys and girls, while the decision text for now mentions only girls. Uh, the petition or the document was handled on to Parliament, where it is now. In Sweden, uh, autumn 2019, there was very much activity. Uh, there were three main organizations who had um, a motion up on a, nation, a national level regarding protecting all children uh, from genital mutilation. Specifically, they all of them were uh, titled uh, regarding the circumcision of boys. Two organizations were political organization, and the third one was the Swedish, uh, Swedish Association of Lo Local Authorities and Regions. The first motion uh, of the center party was actually voted through, uh, but has not, to my knowledge, been acted upon after uh, the party congress voting it through. The two others were not voted through. Uh, Norway has not had any particular political uh, movement uh, during the last few years, to my knowledge, but the thing of protecting all children uh, is uh, being mentioned in, mentioned in media. Only four days ago, uh, there was an article in the main newspaper Aftenposten uh, from an anonymous young man of 19 years who shared his story of how he would have very much preferred to uh, maintain his bodily integrity and autonomy. This uh, similar thing also happened in October uh, in uh, Helsingin Sanomat, which is the biggest morning newspaper in the Nordic countries, in Finland, where a Jewish man also shared his story. Uh, saying uh, similar things uh, about wanting to decide uh, that he would have wanted to decide himself uh, regarding his body. In Iceland, uh, in December last year, there was a bill passed in the parliament, Althingi, regarding uh, genital autonomy for children, including intersex children also, but excluding uh, the circumcision of boys. This does not mean, as I have understood it, uh, that uh, it says anything about the legality or non-legality of the circumcision of boys in Iceland. It just says that it was not included in uh, this bill, which is of course worth mentioning uh, as well. Um, all over in the Nordic countries, I remember that uh, Victor was telling earlier today during the talk with Lena that no main German media is covering this event, the Worldwide Day of uh, Genital Autonomy. Uh, which is worth mentioning also. As I said earlier, a few, some Nordic uh, media outlets has covered this topic uh, in the last time. For some strange reason, almost each and every one of them seem to frame the issue of genital autonomy for all children as something that concerns only our own country. This is being said in Sweden, in Denmark, in Finland uh, lately, possibly also in Norway and Iceland, but of, of, uh, at least these three countries uh, in the last time, uh, last period, I have heard it being mentioned, which is uh, strange. The discussion is happening in every country and uh, information from the neighbor country uh, media outlets is just a few mouse clicks away, but yet, the discourse is uh, being brought forward as uh, if this is something that uh, concerns only our country and it will be uh, very challenging and bad 
for our country if we would be the first ones to include all children uh, in being protected from non-medical uh, genital cutting. Uh, lastly, I would say that one shall not underestimate um, the power of the voters. I think that there are quite uh, a big amount of voters in the Nordic countries that are prepared to make uh, bodily integrity for children uh, uh, a key issue for themselves in the next elections. From September, uh, during a time period of one year and nine months, uh, all the five Nordic countries will have had their elections. First out in September are uh, Iceland and uh, Norway. Uh, so this is something we lift forward uh, in our Nordic network. To finish off, I will mention also that as a Nordic network, we have been able to establish a dialogue with the World Jewish Congress uh, on this topic through its uh, Nordic representation, which we are very grateful for to carry on a dialogue there. This is as much as I wanted to bring forward from the Nordics as of now. Thank you very much for this opportunity and a very, very big thanks for organizing this event. Thank you very much.